In this video, I will be showing you how to download and set up your EndNote library. To begin, let's navigate to the library's website and look at our EndNote guide. If you just Google UKYMCL, that should take you to the Medical Center Library website from the University of Kentucky. From here, we're going to navigate to the Health Science Research Guides. We're going to click that link, and then we're going to scroll down to Managing Citations Using EndNote. We're going to click that link. So this is our research guide for EndNote. And from here, you will find the download links where you can download a copy of the latest EndNote versions. Then you'll also find our help guides and resources. So we have a PDF for downloading and setting up, um, which is much of what we'll cover during this video. Then we have importing and exporting set while you write and editing output styles. We also have some full length videos, tutorials for EndNote 21 using Windows and another one for using Mac. We have help contact. And then we have um, previous version of EndNote 20. Um, we have resources for that as well. All right, so let's get started. Before you can download um, your free copy, um, UK provides a free copy for students, faculty, and staff um, at the downloads website. Before you do that, you want to make sure that you have uninstalled any previous EndNote software that you might have installed on your computer. And then also you want to make sure that all the Windows, Microsoft um, Office products are all closed. You want to make sure you close all those. And you also want to contact your de IT department for passwords for installing or uninstalling any programs. Okay, so let's um, begin by, I'm going to show you how um, to uninstall a previous version of EndNote using Windows. So I'm going to go to my Windows. I'm going to go to Settings. And I'm going to just find a setting. Um, add, yep, if you just put in, I, I was going to start to type in Add, but it just pops up for Add or Remove Programs. I'm going to select that. I'm going to scroll down until I see EndNote, or you could search for it as well. So I have EndNote 20. So again, before you um, uninstall a program, you're going to get, you're going to need your IT support uh, to give you a password. You're also going to make sure all your windows are closed for your Microsoft programs. And I would recommend also backing up any EndNote libraries that you currently have. So I'm going to click on the three little dots and select uninstall. And then I'm going to select uninstall again. And I'm going to say yes. At this point, you'll probably need your IT department's passwords. And then it's just going to run this process. Okay, so now that that is uninstalled, we're going to go back to the EndNote guide and we're going to go down to this um, download site at uky.edu. Once you're at the um, software download site, you're going to need to enter your link blue information, your ID and password. And so now you can um, see what the offerings are. You can actually either scroll down to, until you see EndNote, or you can type EndNote in the search bar. So I want to see the downloads. You can see here that we um, there's different offerings. We have the previous versions, but I want to download the um, 21 version 21. That's the latest version. And I'm going to download it for Windows. So you can see, I'm just going to click this download button. And it's um, it's um, putting a file down at the bottom of my computer. And so I'm just going to open that file. 
Okay. So now it's in, you can see where it is. It's in my downloads folder. Okay. And it's a zip file. And so you can see that there is the file, there's the application, and then there is this product key. So you want to open the product key first. So let's open that. And then you want to copy it because you're going to need this. So I'm going to highlight it. Then I'm just going to click control copy. Um, you can right click. Well, you can do however you copy things on your computer. That's how you would do it. So I just like to use control C. Okay, so then I'm just going to close this out. And then I'm going to open the application. And I'm just double clicking. So I'm going to extract all first. And then you can see it's in my downloads folder. I'm going to extract. And I'm going to open the application again. OK, and it's telling me, um, do I want to allow changes? Yes. At this point, you're probably going to need your IT departments to get to help you with the password. And then we're going to click next. And here's that product key. So it's going to say, um, I have a product key. So I'm just going to paste that product key um, that I had previously copied. And then I'm going to select next. And then um, my name, Stephanie Henderson. And then my organization, University of Kentucky. And then you can select next. And this is all the README information, just select the next. And I accept the license agreement. So you want to make sure that you um, select yes, that you accept it. Click next. And I'm just going to do a typical install. Select next. Um, if you want to um, choose the folder that you download EndNote to, you can choose that here. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it in my program files. So I'm gonna select next and then next. And it's gonna begin the installation process. Okay, so EndNote 21 has been successfully installed. So I'm going to click, select Finish. And then I'm going to um, open EndNote on my computer. No, it, that was the previous version. So I'm going to select No. So now I'm going to search for EndNote. and open. So EndNote 21 is opening. And so um, there is an, um, once you download EndNote 21 from the um, downloads website, if there are any updates to EndNote 21, it will tell you. So we do have a, a, an update, it's 21.0.1. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install this um, new um, update. I'm going to click download and install. Again, you're going to have to go through some of these um, windows. Just click next and say yes. Okay, so now that it's finished. Again, I'm gonna go back to my EndNote program and open it. Okay. So if there's any kind of information um, 
like new information from EndNote, it will display here. So there's, um, it's now offering site while you write with Google Docs. So that's great. So I'm going to just ignore this because I don't want to learn about it today. And so anytime you open an EndNote library, um, it's always going to open the latest library that you were looking at. So whatever the most recent library you had open, it's going to open it up. So let me just um, close this library. And then, um, so this is what you'll get if you've never downloaded EndNote before and you've never had an EndNote library. So you can create a new library and just select create new library. Um, wherever you want to create this new library, um, you can put it there. So I'm just going to call this um, Henderson test. <laughs> and click save. Okay, so now I have my Henderson test library. So um, that's how you would set up your EndNote library. Or that's how you would download it and create a new library. Um, I'm gonna show you the how to make sure that you're getting the full text links linked th through the library catalog. So I'm gonna go back to the test library that I had opened. So I'm just going to open a recent library and it says SH library for testing. Okay, so when you download EndNote 21, so all of your preferences, um, you need to make sure that you update all of your preferences. So let's go back to the library's EndNote guide. Actually, I can just hit this back button. Here we go. So on the EndNote 21, downloading and setting up, you'll see um, that we have all of these installation instructions, which we've already done. But now um, it's going to tell you how to open up a new library and save it. But then this is um, where you can change your preferences. So what will happen is that you will need to link your um, EndNote library to our library subscription journals and um, resources through the catalog. So you're going to want to um, update your preferences and use the this PDF to copy these links that are um, right here, this, um, sorry, this, uh, this ISI base URL. So what we're gonna do is we would copy this and you would put it in, you go to your EndNote library, go to file, you under the edit, you go to preferences, you're gonna to go to URLs and links and ISI base URL. So you're just going to, Whatever's in there, you're going to delete it and you're going to make sure that you um, copy and paste the one that's in that document. The other thing that you're going to do is you're going to go, go to the find full text. And again, you're going to go back to this PDF. And you're going to make sure that you have under um, open URL, you're going to copy this link. Let me show you that here. So find full text, open URL. You're going to copy and paste the link in the document right here. And then you're also going to copy and paste um, this link into the authenticate with box. So make sure that you include that um, equal sign. So you want to include that whole string here. And that's how you are going to authenticate. So again, go back to your, your EndNote library and this authenticate with your LPATH right here. So I would copy and paste these uh, because I have a previous library, I my links are still here. However, I would suggest that you copy and paste um, to update the most recent links that we have. And then you can click apply and OK. And then um, where it says um, 
when you're ready to find the full text, you can just select a couple at a time. Um, I wouldn't suggest selecting like hundreds at a time because that will take forever, but I'm just gonna select these, these few and then right click and click find full text. And then um, you have to authenticate with your link blue username and password. And then um, just click this continue button. And then you can see here under this find full text menu that it's searching for the full text. And if it finds the full text, you'll see this little paper clip right here. So if I click on this resource, you can see that my um, PDF document has been linked and then we can open that. So you can see here, um, this is my PDF document. Um, so there was four of them that were not found. So in this instance, um, So it's not always going to find, um, it's not foolproof, it won't find all of your full text. Um, so I would suggest going out to um, the, trying to search for this um, article title in our catalog and seeing if you can find full text that way, or maybe a link to the full um, a URL is available. If not, again, you can, get any of our resources through interlibrary loan. So then you would just have to place an interlibrary loan request. And that is it for um, EndNote libraries and downloading and setting up. Let me go back to the guide real quick. So again, these PDFs are available for you um, to use when you're um, setting up your EndNote account and then importing and exporting references, that will be helpful as well. And then the site while you write. Um, those three will get you started with um, how to use EndNote if you've never used it before. And for those of you who are um, heavy EndNote users, this will be pretty um, straightforward for you on this process. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to any one of um, the reach out to the Medical Center Library or just the Ask Us um, through the library's website. Thank you.